Hey there guys, uh, Big Geordie Geek here and um, well I'm sorry it's been a few weeks since we've had a report. Uh, there's been some uh, a bit of a rubbish time in my personal life to be honest. Uh, we've had some uh, we've had some family bereavements. Now before we get into the battle report um, I'd just like to say a quick word from our wonderful sponsor The Daylight Company. Um, I love their products. I actually own a Lumi task lamp myself uh, which is an absolutely phenomenal piece of kit it really does make a huge difference uh, in your painting area I'm not gonna keep you up with some spon with a sponsored message um, but I will say that if you are if you love your painting this will really make a world of difference the only problem is you'll see a lot more faults with your painting work than you would before but that's a good thing because it helps you improve anyway let's get on with the battle report and uh, Iron Jaws, because I got some Iron Jaws in Mortal Realms. Anyway, <laughs> where were we? Mission. Yes. Where's the mission? Here's the front. It took me, we it's taken me months to get a hold of this, because uh, that was another factor which was causing a delay, because I got sent issue 9, and then the replacement was in issue 9. And that replaced was in issue 9. So it took me, it took them four attempts to send me issue 10. <laughs> um, I could have gone and got it from a shop, but... Yeah, I, I, I just didn't get a chance. It, it's, yeah, anyway. So, what's the mission? The mission is simple. The uh, Necrons have detected the ships in orbit of the Imperium and they decided, right, we need to get on the surface and start setting up these defense networks so we can actually meet them. So, some Necron warriors are going to make a push towards the surface to get some stuff done. Free insult intercessors find themselves between the Necrons and their objective. Can these free assault intercessors take down 10 Necron Warriors. So starting off, we'll take a quick look at the armies. The first here is the Space Marines. These are uh, free Assault Intercessors, not the uh, original three that came with the uh, uh, issue three. These are the ones that came with uh, a later issue for the big squad that originally came with the Domitus. On the Necron side, we've got two small uh, five-man squads of uh, Necron Warriors, uh, five with Gorse Blasters and five with Gorse Reapers. So moving on to the setup, as you can see, we have the objective uh, denoted by the Warhammer objective marker there on the uh, right. Uh, two squads of warriors on the left, uh, one at the bottom, one at the top. And at the top in the middle there, we have the uh, intercessors. On turn one, the intercessors uh, sort of uh, move towards the Necron warriors. They want to get close in and do some, uh, do some damage there. Uh, uh, they're assault intercessors, so they don't hang back and wait. They fire their heavy bolt pistols into the warriors, needing a free plus to hit two misses, though, uh, as they rush forward. But one is an absolute bullseye over that six. Uh, that shot wounds a Necron warrior, uh, rolling a four, which is needed when the strength of a weapon equals the toughness of a unit. However, the Necrons manage to roll a six, uh, so he's able to fend off the bolt round, which is, uh, the bolt round itself is AP minus one, hence the warrior needs to roll a five plus in order to save that wound. Now, the warriors, the, the warriors get charged by the assault intercessors. They need to roll a uh, five, and they manage to roll a seven, which puts them right into the engagement range. The intercessors then strike with their chainsaws nine times, two for their base attacks and one foot attacking with an Astartes chainsaw, and they manage to land nine blows on the warriors. But of those, uh, six, only three actually wound the warriors. Now, the warriors need a five plus to save the wounds, uh, but the Necrons manage to deflect one, uh, but the other two cut down warriors, so uh, we're left with three Necron warriors there in that combat. Uh, the Necrons strike back, uh, landing two blows, uh, both of which actually cause wounds. Um, and one manages to breach the armor of a Marine and does a minor wound to them. In the Necron turn, the other warriors decide they're going to advance. They roll a three, so they advance eight inches and they start moving towards the objective. Now returning to the other combat, the Necron warriors hit back scoring one hit, very impressive, uh, which fails spectacularly to do anything to the intercessors. Uh, the assault intercessors then get to hit back nine times again, uh, scoring six hits, of which five cause wounds, 
uh, the Necrons are only not, not able to deflect them, and uh, they're cut down where they stand. In the Space Marine turn, uh, they uh, move six inches towards the other warriors. They shoot their heavy bolt pistols again, but all of those miss the targets. So they're not really doing very well in terms of shooting now, are they? Uh, they then successfully charge the warriors with a charge roll of seven. Attacking nine times, they make six hits against the warriors and cause a total of three wounds, all of which are spectacularly saved by the warriors. The warriors then hit back, landing three hits on the marines, one of which causes a wound, uh, which pierces the armor of the already uh, damaged uh, and wounded warrior, and uh, he dies. The warriors decide to make a break for it and attempt to reach the objective by moving away from marines, hoping that they'll fluff a charge roll. Uh, the marines respond by firing at the fleeing warriors. Again, they miss. They're not having much luck with these heavy bolt pistols today. They must be very distracted. They charge the Necrons again, and unfortunately for the Necrons, they do not fluff the roll and uh, manage to get him with a roll of eight. They use six attacks left because three are lost because the uh, marine, the previous, the other marine died, and they hit the Necrons five times, three of which cause wounds, which take down three warriors because they cannot save those. The two remaining warriors strike back, um, scoring a hit. Just, just the one hit, which fails to do a single thing to the Marines. In the Necron turn, they basically can't do anything but strike at the, Mari the, the uh, Marines, scoring two hits, both of which cause wounds, and one of which pisses the armor of an intercessor. So uh, that's a, a good result there, six and a one. Um, the intercessors then use their chainsaws to hit the uh, Necrons uh, six times, hitting them four. Scoring three wounds, which kills the remaining warriors. And the uh, Space Marines are able to win the game. Well, the answer to the uh, question, can three Assault Intercessors take down ten Necron Warriors? The answer is yes, they can. Um, probably a tactical misstep on my part. I thought it would be better to get that other unit of five closer to the objective and just head on that way. Uh, I'm thinking I could hold up the uh, uh, the intercessors with the other unit instead of withdrawing, uh, sort of leaving the combat and having the other Necron warriors shoot them, as suggested in the instructions. I thought I'd play it more. Well, I took a risk and it failed. Uh, the uh, Marines player did far better. Yeah, I need to cut my mustache, don't I? <laughs> yeah, no, don't need to hear about my personal grooming. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that was the uh, that was the mission. Now. Um, Fantastic result for the for the uh, uh, intercessors, and I'm was starting really starting to build up towards actual getting towards full missions. Uh, I am going to try and go catch up, so I'm thinking of doing three reports in one week. Uh, it might be next week, might be the week after. It depends how this weekend goes, but it will be a Monday, Tuesday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday battle report, which will be quite cool. Uh, just to help me. Be, get, get caught up. In the meantime, I have uh, got the the Chaos Space Marine box, so I'm going to do a special at some point, probably when we get to about issue 20, so a few weeks yet to go. Give me time to paint them. Um, I actually bought a Noctilith Crown as well, because I thought it would look really cool in the battle report if we actually had the bit of scenery rather than a cutout bit. And you know what? It, it's something that might work for the Company of Legends. I actually just recorded the podcast tonight, so my voice is a bit a bit croaky. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. As usual, if do all, I'll say all the things that normal YouTubers say. I'm not a normal YouTuber. I'm, I don't I have no ambitions anyway. But <laughs> if you love the video or just mildly like it, drop a like. If if you want to see more of these, subscribe. Maybe ding the bell. I don't know why you would, but anyway, <laughs> uh, we will be back. As I said, it might be Monday. If not, it'll be a week today. But we will be back. And we will do that free report in one week to try and get caught up. I might have to do a... I don't know. I've got some more issues on the way. It just depends how... I don't want to be right up on schedule because I get mine through subscription. 
and they're not always on target with those so we'll see anyway thank you very much for uh, tuning in and if you've got any comments you know let me know um i'd love to know how i can improve these um once we do get into proper battles there, there will be a bit of a change up <clears throat> in how i present them uh, that i'm working on and uh, we'll take it from there so thank you very much for uh, your time <laughs>